Good afternoon, my friends. I hope that you're having an awesome, awesome day. And we have a lot of people that are asking uh, how they can do streaming to Facebook from their Zoom accounts. And this is something that I have done a couple of videos, but as they asked me, there are some things that change. So I want to probably try to do an update for this video for you guys so you can actually get the latest on this. And what I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna go a full walkthrough of how to get Zoom to stream for your account. So let me start with saying thank you for joining. If you don't know who I am, my name is Carlos Vargas. And are you seeing this on YouTube or on Facebook or share through someone? But the first thing, thank you for being here. Um, Zoom is a platform that you know that you can do a lot of stuff with their presentations, webinars, and different things. And for the longest time, you needed to be part of the webinar platform to be able to stream to Zoom. But a lot of people did not know that there was a different way that they can actually stream. So as you're listening to this, uh, I know that there may be some of your friends that you may want to know how to do that. So click your share button, create a watch party so they can also see this video. And I'm going to go step by step, and we're going to be doing this in under 10 minutes, okay? So the first thing that I want you to realize, let me get my Zoom client in here. So I have my Zoom client. This works on both on PC and on Mac, so it doesn't matter you should be running the latest version of the client. Uh, that is four, six and change. So let me get you here. If you go to your, uh, where's my about now? About Zoom, it's four, six is the latest client. I actually just went today again and did the update. And the reason is that I actually have somebody that called me and they were having problems doing the streaming and it was because they changed some things on the client. So the first thing that you're gonna do is that to stream, you can, you can do it directly from the client and you don't need to do anything else, but we need to configure one setting on your advanced web page. And as I'm doing all this, uh, leave me a comment, let me know where you're watching from. I'm monitoring the comments. So I'm gonna go into my settings and I'm gonna go here to settings. And when I go to the settings part, there's an option for uh, where's profile and you can go into advanced features. Before you used to see advanced features directly there, they just updated today. When you click advanced features, that will open a web page. Let me bring it up here. You can see it. And in here, there are a lot of the settings for your Zoom client. All that I need to check, I wanna, you can scroll down and look through all the settings, but the easiest way to get there, you click email notification. You're gonna move you all the way down and just go a little bit to this section in here. Allow live streaming of meetings. This used to be only an option for the webinars. Now you don't need to do that. All that you need to do this is a paid account. So free version doesn't include it. It used to, they removed it. You need to have a paid minimum, a pro version of Zoom. And when you click in there, what this will do is that it will enable the options so you can do it. So let me go through it. Facebook is your normal Facebook that you connect and see all the people's life. Workspace for Facebook, that is their private version for businesses. You can also do it to YouTube. So you're gonna click and you can go live on YouTube. And if you have some other option, you can do it here. So this means if you use any other platform, you can do it too. Once you enable this, then you can go to your Zoom client to do your live. If you don't have this enabled, you don't have it. And I'm gonna show you so you can see the difference. I'm gonna turn it off for me. 
So right now, that's off. I'm going to start a new meeting. And you see that right here on the bottom, I don't have the option to be able to do a live stream because I disable it. I'm going to get out this. I'm going to go back into my Zoom settings. This option are enabled now. Now, when I go and click my meeting, I have three little dots. When I click those three little dots, now I have the option to go live on Facebook. And all that I have to do is I click live on Facebook. And it's going to ask me, where do you want to go live? Do you want to go on your timeline? So that's your profile. Friends timeline, a group, an event, or a page that you manage. So I'm going to pick here a group. I have a test group that I go. You click next. You're going to prepare everything. And you can see it on your client that it says preparing. When it switches to be ready, you get this page. All that you have to do is put your title for your live. So title for live stream and click go. This is all part of the basic meetings. And we are live. Now I am live on Facebook on my test group. So let me go here. Let's go for social learning. Let's see. Discussions. There's my live. So right there, I am going live directly from Zoom without having to do anything else, without the webinar license and without anything. This is built in into the Zoom platform. So my friends, there you have it. How to go live on Facebook in this time, it's critical that you understand how to leverage your tools that you have so you can connect with your audience and be productive and be able to reach other people with your message. So my friends, if you have any questions, as always, please, let me know.